Hey guys, it's been a while since I uh, made a video, so I've been uh, kind of busy, but um, I just wanted to do just to uh, talk a little bit about this camera and about this microphone setup. And, you know, I was actually using this yesterday, and I needed to record some, a little bit, uh, do a voiceover, record some uh, voice, you know, my voice uh, for one of my um, audio projects. And... You know what I noticed is um, I was using this microphone, and this is a Rhodes Go mic. You know, if you're familiar with these microphones, um, they're very nice microphones, and the quality is really good. But anyway, you know, I just wanted to make this just a random um, talk. You know, just a random video about um, this camera, about this microphone setup, and about you know, does it really matter if you used um, the preamp that's in your camera does the preamp in your camera really uh, matters when it comes to sound quality when using a uh, microphone and I have to tell you it really does you know um, depending on what type of preamp you have in your camera it makes a difference as far as the um, sound quality goes and you know you hear a lot of people say that the uh, preamps that every camera that you have you know like this that has a built-in microphone input has a some type of preamp in it for the microphone to work but the problem is the preamps that's in these cameras are not as good as just getting a separate recorder or a separate preamp or a recorder like this and I'm sorry I'm kind of away from the camera so I can't really see you know um, I can't really see my viewfinder on my camera because I'm sitting away from it but I hope everything's in focus let me check. Looks like it, yeah, it's in focus. And, um, you know, a lot of users like to use external microphone anyway to get better sound quality instead of using the one the preamp that's in their camera. But what I did yesterday, actually, um, I just, you know, I've been using this camera for a while now, and especially with external microphones, and I noticed that uh, when I use this microphone right here, this is a Rhodes Go mic, uh, the sound quality is very good, I have to admit, even using the preamp that's in this camera. And that's the thing, um, the preamp that's in this camera is pretty good, but it's not the best. It has noise. And, you know, if you know about noise, no matter what it is, if it's a microphone or a preamp, it has some type of noise. They all do. The only difference is that um, the lower the noise, basically some microphones or preamp has lower noise than others. You know, as some of the preamps are a lot louder in noise than others. But this one does have a bit of noise in it. But um, you will only notice it if you record, you know, vocals or any type of speech. But what I use this for, um, this is not my main setup. I usually use this um, camera with a condenser microphone, you know, a large one inch condenser microphone. But I decided just to use this since I had it right here, and um, this thing is really good. It picks up sound like um, very sensitive. It can pick up sound from anywhere that's near. Because um, the other day I had a pair of headphones on and the music was playing, and I was doing a little bit of voiceovers, and actually, you know, having the headphones on my head, this microphone actually picked up the sound. <laughs> that was I'm um, playing in my headphones. I had them on my head. You could hear the sound, but it picked it up with this microphone. So it shows you how sensitive this is. It picked it right up. But going, you know, going back to about the quality of this mic, um, I compare the preamp that's in this camera to um, something like this, a digital recorder. This is, this is a Zoom H1, and this is an excellent recorder. If you're looking for a recorder, to record um, sound effects. Uh, music or anything this is great but what I did notice when I compared it to um, to the sound from this camera is that um, this preamp is pretty sensitive so you can use any type of microphone and it would pick up sound really good but the thing is um, it works best when you are recording sound effects or music we are when you are recording voices you will hear the noise that's in the preamp and it's not that bad but it's definitely noticeable and what I noticed too, um, you know, using this microphone, uh, my voice sounded pretty accurate. It sounded just like it does in real life, you know. But when I took this microphone out and 
I put it in this uh, recorder, it sounded different, you know. Uh, and this is what was interesting, you know, when I use this microphone like this, and it has a um, line in input, so if you want to connect a external microphone to this recorder, you can, like this. And I had the volume set at 52, uh, at level 52, and I noticed using this recorder, my voice sounded a bit deeper and a bit heavier. It, it sounded actually better than it than it did when using this camera and, and this is the difference between these two devices you know if you want to know what's as far as sound quality go which one is better it's more about um, the preamp that is in this recorder has a deeper sound to it it has like a more lower end to your voice so it would give your voice a little bit of a low end to it but if you want your voice just to sound exactly the way it sounds, you could use um, the preamp that's in this camera with this uh, microphone and it would sound just like it does in real life. But when using this recorder, there's like a um, slight emphasis in in the bass region, region and a little bit in the treble region, but it makes your voice sounds a bit deeper. So if you like, you know, if you have listened to a lot of podcasts and you like how that sounds when when a person's voice sounds deep. Um, definitely, you know, this is a recorder to get, but this one, the camera is going to make your voice sound just like it regularly sounds. It's not going to add any, um, any deepness or any bass to your voice. It's just going to sound pretty flat, like it sounds in real life. And it basically, that's the difference between these two devices. It's not so much the mic. At first, I thought it was the microphone that really changed uh, my voice. But when I use, you know, this microphone on both the camera and the recorder, it was basically the preamps that are built in to these devices. And that's what really affect the um, sound quality of your microphone. It's the microphone as well, but not so much. It's really the preamps that are built into these devices. And again, this preamp in this camera is pretty flat. Um, turn it on a little bit so I show you what level. I had it set at... Um, I think level 10. This goes up to um, volume 20, so I put it at 10 halfway. And it was very sensitive, you know. And, and again, you know, this is great if you are someone who want, who want to record sound effects or music with this camera using the um, external microphone. It will sound great. It's very clean, you know, when you use a um, Southern microphone. I used a $20 um, Zing U microphone that really has a flat response and this, the quality with this camera was great it picked up very well and it's very accurate okay here's the mic level yes as you can see I have it adjusted to um, 10 yeah but anyways yeah you know um, as far as quality to go you know if you want something that basically has the best sound or I should say the lowest noise ratio it's this one here this is the zoom h1 and this is a great combination just using this um, lavalier mic by Rhodes it's the go mic and sound quality will be great using this but remember it will add a little bit of deepness to your voice and make your voice sound deeper so that's the biggest difference um, and it seems like it's a like I said earlier it's a slight boost in um, highs when you use this microphone a little bit of emphasis in highs but overall, it sounds, you know, really great, and it's worth getting. You know, if you want something that's simple, one device that could, that's really small, you could take with you wherever you go. You know, you put this in your pocket, and it's really doable. I mean, I had this in my pocket. I had this in boxes with heavy stuff, and I dropped it, and it still works. So yeah, this is a great device, and the quality is good. But I just wanted to make this video just to, you know, let you guys know that, you know. The sound quality that you get from your recordings, it really relies not only on the type of microphone you use, but also on the type of um, um, preamp that you have in your device, whether it's a camera or a recorder. You know, um, once you get a good preamp that sounds good or sounds the way you want it to sound, it will be much easier to match your microphone with it and get the sound that you want. So yeah, that's um, about it. But again, you know, uh, I'll make another video about using this uh, camera as a recorder. And this is what I use it for, you know. I use a different microphone, as I said before. 
but I use this camera to record a lot of sound effects and a lot of music because it, it records it very clean and it's very sensitive it picks up very well and it just sounds really good you know there's not much noise when you are recording music or recording sound effects and it sounds just very accurate so yeah well that's about it I hope you enjoyed this video and I will also be making you know more videos about using this camera because I have found out a lot of um, tricks um, that you can use with this camera you know I mean there's a lot of things that you can do with this camera so if you do have this camera um, the Parasonic GH3 there's a lot of hacks that you can do with this and they really help you out so I'm gonna make another video on that so um, again you know thank you for watching this video um, see you later goodbye